Hello everybody. Today I'm going to tell you how to save money, especially if you're like, let's just say, a gamer. And you want to buy, like, let's just say, a game system, a special edition game, a new computer, a capture card, or maybe you need parts for your car or something else in real life. Today I'm going to give you some common sense ways to save money. So the first thing is when new video games come out. The first thing you can do is wait a few months. For example, Battlefield 4. This game originally sold for $60, but the price has dipped on this game, and now you can get the game for just $30. Or if you get the premium edition on the PC, you can pay $60 still, but you get all the downloadable content, which normally sells separately for more money. So let's think about it. And not only that, but the game also got fixed after those few months with if you bought the game when it was new you'd be paying sixty dollars and the game would be having issues and stuff and let's be honest if it's a good game then it'll still be good a few months later i mean it's not like after a few months suddenly the game magically becomes bad i mean look at the pc in that huge back library or even the 360 and how that has like a huge library of 360 games. I mean, you can still play many of them today. I mean, if they're good games, you can still put it in now and have some fun, I guess. And you won't be paying $60 a game. Instead, you'll be paying uh, 5 to $10 at a GameStop or on the PC, the same price on a Steam sale. So yeah, that's the thing. If you wait a few months, you can get games cheaper after the hype has died out. And then, all that money you spent to get the game day one, you can eventually save and put it toward more games. Or put it aside in a savings account, which is what I do. So in case you have something like car breakdowns, or let's just say your computer breaks down, or and like let's just say like the GPU fries and you need a new one, or you want to buy a new car, kaboom! You can go and buy like a new whatever with all that money you saved up. Or let's just say you drop your phone, your screen breaks, boom, it's not working anymore. You can take that money you saved and you can put it towards that. You also don't have to keep buying $60 games quickly in a row. I mean, what, 60 times 2? 120. $120. I mean, there's a lot of stuff you can get for $120. I mean, you can get half-decent cell phones for $120. You could get like a tablets for $120 you could get, which are basically computers now, especially if you get the Windows tablets. You could get uh, all these other things for under 20 And not only that, but there are other things that, like, let's just say you don't really need. You can spend them if you, like, have extra money, but if you don't have any car breakdown problems, like, and if you already have, like, money set aside for that, you can go buy other stuff, such as your action figures or, uh, your uh, expensive vinyl records or other stuff like that. Because let's be honest here, you shouldn't waste your money on other stuff until you have plenty of money set aside for when you actually need it. Like let's just say if your computer breaks or something like that. Because, I mean, let's be honest here, a computer breaking can be a big thing, especially considering how often it seems to happen, seeing the cell phones being dropped and cars breaking. And let's not forget other stuff such as home repair being needed if you, like, live on your own. So honestly, if you put money aside, you can, like, not only be able to get the big stuff you want, but you can also pay for the big stuff that you don't see coming, but that you need, such as car repairs, because you never know. You'll, you'll still need that car to go to, like, GameStop. You'll still need that car to go to Walmart. You'll still need your, that car to go to uh, the welfare office. You'll, you'll need that car to do a lot of things, and honestly, another thing you might as well want to do is do your research, because you might be able to get some good stuff cheap. For example, computers, like if you're looking for a half-decent laptop that just you just want it to last, go on eBay and look for like off-lease laptops, off-lease desktops. In fact, I'm planning on buying like a off-lease Dell workstation, because there's like a ton of them on eBay. I mean, you can get like, what? 12 core ones with Intel, two Intel 6 core Xeons, and I could like have two of them and, and like have 24 cores 
because like two six core uh, Xeons is 12, and then you got hyper threading, so the OSC is 24 cores, but I got 12 cores, which is nice, especially if you do stuff like video editing and even gaming because like it's still a pretty decent core, especially when compared to AMD stuff, and it's cheaper than an AMD FX build too. So yeah, another thing is um. Some used cars, even if they're pretty good cars, they can depreciate in value quickly, and those are pretty good buys if you're looking for something to get you from point A to point B, especially as some of them are pretty reliable, like the Christ, I mean, uh, such as the Mercury Grand Marquis or some Chrysler cars I've seen. I mean, I still see a bunch of old Chrysler cars on the road, but yeah, do your research when buying stuff because you want to get the, and even if you're buying new stuff, you can also get good deals if you do the research too, like rebates and rewards programs, all that stuff. So yeah, you got to save money if you want to get all the good stuff. Trust me. I mean, I don't even have like the most money in the world, but that's how I'm able to get all the good stuff. So yeah. Another thing is don't always buy like a, for, like a, uh, OEM or first party or whatever replacement stuff because keep in mind those can cost a lot of money but like third party ones they're the same exact thing and they do the same exact job like fine I mean honestly I rarely buy name brand stuff anymore especially when it comes to like uh, unless it's like very important I rarely buy name brand stuff because let's be honest here half the time when you're buying name brand stuff you're just paying for a logo you just are like with the PS3 controllers. I mean, the Sony controllers weren't that great. And sometimes even the third-party controllers were better, honestly, in my opinion. So all in all, these are some quick ways to save money if you're, like, a gamer or something. So, yeah, here you go. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more and enjoy saving some money.